Welcome to a new edition of Harness Central. I'm Harold Howe, and I'm here with Richard Morrow, the uh, multiple award-winning uh, O'Brien winner. And it's hard to believe, Richard, but you've got a record year. You've had a great run of years, and even better this year as we do this. 3.77 million for the stable, 236 wins. You know, you just go from strength to strength, and... Uh, it's the seventh consecutive year your barn has won over $2 million. Uh, long way from when you left Montreal. Yes, I'm very fortunate to be in Ontario and be competitive. My goal is to be um, stability, to have stability and try to maintain a rhythm, you know. Well, your, your business plan is interesting in that you run around 50 head of horses here at one time and you were telling me you know you've had so many in and out over the last several months and interestingly you do not own very much of any of these horses and what's what's your business plan in doing it that way i'm just uh, try to keep everybody happy um i try a horse if uh, I can uh, make the horse worthwhile and uh, the job and uh, the cost, then we're in business. If not, I don't drag it for a couple months. To, uh, I'm not too much of a dreamer. Like after two or three start, uh, I pretty much know it's going to be okay or not, and we just move on to the next phone call, I guess. Right, which is why also you don't have hardly anything to do with yearlings. That's a dreamer's game. And you're more practical, I guess. I tried, I had, uh, I was looking for, hit the jackpot or something. Didn't seem like it was gonna happen, so I focus on what was working for me, which is racing. Right. You race a lot of horses. And you were just saying, you, you raced how many starts this last month at Woodbine? The last 20 days, we have a hundred start of Woodbine. You bought this farm how many years ago? It's a more than nine years, right. probably go on 10 now. And you were saying it was one of the best moves you ever made because paying stall rent was getting you nowhere. I like the people at Classy Lane, Barb especially, but I pay my mortgage right now. Right. <laughs> And how many acres and how many horses could you accommodate here? Mm, four would be 60, and this is a 45-acre property. Okay. Let's talk about some of the horses. And it's interesting, you, you didn't have any superstars, shall we say, but a lot of horses that contributed to the bottom line. And we'll start with Jerry Sport, a three-year-old colt. People know finished second in the super final. Made 245000 I mean, everybody would have a spot for this horse in their burn. Yes, uh, uh, thanks to uh, Robbie Robinson. And uh, at the same time, he, he gave me the opportunity to work a little bit more with uh, Mr. Jerry Tucker. Um, this horse um, was uh, easy going all season and uh, um, wasn't a hard job for me. The horse put up the work. Very consistent? Yes, steady. Consistent. Yeah. Another one that everybody would love to have is uh, Even and a Pleasure. Preferred horse, sort of a Saturday night special from years ago type. Made 259000 just there every week almost. Yeah, I guess uh, Evening and Pleasure may um, do for a break soon because you race hard and you usually get a, a little bit of winter off. Um, is kind of um, part of the barn for a few years, and uh, I don't know how long this is going to go for, but it's a um, bank machine. <laughs> bank machine. And another one who did very well for you was, uh, well, actually, there were two mares, Sand Between Your Toes and Miss Mac and Cheese, 197 and 192,000, both preferred mares, and, again, just did, do nothing but make money. Yeah, fortunately, is the same mare every week, and uh, um, especially sand between your toe is um, 
hard and tough and she seems to show up on the uh, when it's important on the stake race or final and stuff um, she went two year in a row one big race there um, is a nice mare to have and you have a number of horses that nobody ever talks about but they're so valuable to every stable because they pay the bills for a number of the ones that struggle and i'm just going to mention two one is american virgin four-year-old gelding made 114,000, and then a uh, horse is starting to get a little bit of age on him now boom boom bally keel made 127,000. i mean they're they're not going to make headlines but I mean, like I say, they pay a lot of bills. Yeah, I think boom, boom is kind of what we say a whole ringer now. I never expect me to say that about him because I have for a long time, but he was, I remember when he was three years old, cold. Yes. yes. But these horses, they're not easy to find, but they're just the cornerstones of, they're, they're like in hockey, what they call the plumber players. You got to have them. Yeah, my program is not very tough on training, and I try to um, make them last as long as possible, I guess. Where do you go from here in terms of finding horses? They're, the supply is not growing. Mm, I hear what you say, but um, I think by proper classification, you make your own free publicity. And then uh, if I can accommodate anybody on racing, um, I'm there every night. Okay. Well, Richard, congratulations on a great year again and uh, uh, job well done. Thanks for your time. Thank you very much. All right. Harold Howe with Richard Morrow giving you the Harness Racing Edge.